Even as a baby, it was obvious that Kathy Cotman was different. Different in that she would be a strong, positive influence on the lives of many. I know Mom is the one who, if I would wake up in the morning when I was younger with a bad attitude, she would ask me, what's your problem? So I really wasn't allowed to go around with a long face and a negative ad attitude. Never allowing a negative attitude to interfere with life's challenges as a person with spinal muscular atrophy. I just felt that I wanted to be as much um, like anyone else as I could. And going to school, um, I could sit in the classroom like everyone else. And um, to move between classes, someone could always push me. And there really wasn't any reason why I shouldn't go to regular schools. And there really wasn't any reason she couldn't go to college and work. She graduated from Kent State University, being one of the first disabled students living on campus. Then she went on to work at the Cleveland Clinic. Her attitude was a can-do can attitude that she wanted to do the very best. She never complained about anything, either her work or her disability. She was a very positive person. Working in the biostatistics department for 25 years, she rolled right in and change rolled out immediately. Having her in the department really made me appreciate uh, you know, how people with physical disabilities could have to cope with things in an everyday way that we just don't appreciate. So I, I really learned from that. All the obstacles that she faced and still maintaining such a good attitude. Um, there's people who don't face any obstacles that have horrible attitudes. So I would think about that frequently, and I still do, actually. She was so inspirational. I mean, you didn't even know. I didn't, I didn't look at it as a disability. It's to me, she, Kathy's whole in every way. Inspiring her coworkers in the office and in her community. Like for our kids to see her. You know, when we were having all of these uh, social events, all spouses and children would be there too and they would be able to see, you don't really often see someone in an electric wheelchair in the midst of the muddy grass in someone's backyard. And fighting for those who could not fight for themselves. She's been extremely active in the advocacy role, not just self-advocacy, but advocacy for those individuals with disabilities. Advocating for organizations like LEAP the Arc of Greater Cleveland, and Maximum Accessible Housing of Ohio. She's a wonderful advocate, and uh, I would say that Kathy has the ability to solve problems. She became convinced that this parish could not move forward in a really pro-life, complete way unless we had an elevator to allow everyone into our upper hall where we had events. She figured it out. She got every cent we needed to build that, that elevator. Moving forward is Kathy's way. I feel that um, everything I've been able to achieve is really because of the way I've been brought up and because what my parents have done for me and what we've done all together as a family. Paving the way for her younger sister who shares the same disability. She's always been like a role model to me. Being my older sister, I always saw that things were possible. Going to college or getting a job, I think it's great that she's being honored now. That honor, says Kathy, deserves to go to her parents too. They always made me feel I was a blessing. I think in my own heart, you know, I wish that I would be able to do something to help them. Um, but. They've never made either my sister or I feel that we were a burden. It's part of my job. I arranged, I was able to do, arrange my work. So I, I take her to work or school and then I go back to work. I'm proud of both of them, that's for sure. Just take care of them <laughs> as best you can. That's what we try to do. We don't do anything different. Just 
they need something, we do it for them. They grow up and we grow up with them. <laughs> Kathy says she would rather have lived her life out of her wheelchair, but then she says she may have taken another road. And this road she is on has made a difference for her family, friends, faith, community, and to the thousands of people with disabilities. I feel also that when a challenge comes about, if you overcome it, you get this great sense of accomplice, accomplishment, where I think um, maybe people that have had a very easy life have never experienced those kinds of accomplishments. Kathy Cotman's advocacy has been her humble gift to society. Yeah.